Okay, so where did we get to? We got part way through a previous level, I believe. Um, yes, it was a lot of work. An earthly that, uh, excavation. The level was. Yeah. Black Mace is on 50% discount, by the way. Does really have half life? I, I don't have it. I don't have Uh, yes, so let me join you. Now, I've, um, I finally settled down. I think, um, remember, I, I don't know if we talk, remember I was talking about sneaky spaceships. I think I've settled oh, yeah. down into something I can do that will be good with that. With the, not the engine, but with the everything I've put together. So I've been working on that today. It seems to be going quite well. Um, probably um, we'll go for it. Oh, I remember. I got blown up at the end of the last stream. I uh, remember now. Um, uh, but yeah, probably um, I'll be ready for a tech test. I keep saying this, but maybe Thursday. Um, but I kind of want people's feedback on not, you know, is it a good game, but what's it like to fly and. Um, experience and, roughly uh, yeah just it's not is it a good game or i've got a great idea but is there a good game in here somewhere and i think in this case it is even if it's i don't think you've played the liver speed rpg stuff with us but mostly in that one no. you drive around at normal speeds in a city just driving from a to b um, All right. collecting stuff and then dropping it off for not very much money and once you've made enough money, you can um, buy a better car with slightly more storage. Huh. But yeah, and it's quite fun because you know you're leveling um, up, you're progressing. It's quite fun. Um. Um. I'm sorry. I've got a, a mark on the floor here. Barrels in blue. The barkers in blue. Does that intimate blue barrels in here? No, just barrels. Just the old barrels. If you box, can, right. if you can bring a bunch of uh, uh, water buckets over to. Uh, the left of the far Sarlacc because I got blown up at the end of the last stream and it's... it's, it's... There are a lot of barrels down here. Ah. Um, oh, no. USB stick. I want clean buckets. Yes. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a guess. A thousand buckets, maybe. Maybe less, okay. Spill the bucket. Where am I going? Ah, oh, here, here. Where do you want to dump them? This to the place? Left, to the left a bit. Over to the entrance. Uh, yeah. Here-ish? I'm, I'm not sure where you want to go exactly. Uh, a bit further. If you, if you carry Perfect. it up, but you'll see the gore, but there's a lot of it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to spill the bucket. Oh, fair fuck, so I'm going to spill that bucket. Well, I've cleaned up thirteen and a half thousand uh, footsteps. Look at it throwing buckets, apparently. Yeah, I spent the day putting together a, de a very small but very detailed section of a space station that will dock in. Oh. I, 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 I feel I should maybe stream that. Like it, that's quite fun. I don't think watching people code is fun, but I think watching people put together. Um, people will learn from that, right? Some, I mean, I guess sometimes people ask me questions, you know, about what I'm doing and why, which is interesting. But I I think... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> But I think putting together scenes is actually quite interesting. For well, the coming to the plant, but the MC teleporting here. <laughs> Sorry, I missed a wrap. Go again. Yeah, um, I, I don't. I don't think coding is that interesting to watch. Um, I think yeah. putting together scenes is more interesting because you're more or less bolting together bits and bobs in a way. Oh, you Unity know. assets and things. Yeah, I'll put a pillar here. I'll put a gateway there. But that's, that's the thing about designing. Um, um, environments I suppose, you every little detail doesn't have to be explained because you don't know it in great detail, you don't know what it does, it just 
Yeah. It's decoration. But, but you, the as designer, the artist, that's where the art in yeah. artist comes in, isn't it? But you the have designers to have to think about every detail. That's, that's the terrible yeah. thing. So I'm putting down little bits, Bob. But there's buckets here I'm going to hit because I can't see shit with this thing in my hands. Um, uh, yeah. No, you're good, you're good. I yeah, mean, I was putting together like just a little detail of the water. What I did is I did it in VR, and then I parked my spaceship in the docking area and looked around. The bits I was looking at, shot more detail onto. Because that's the bits where the player will look. So the more I'm going to put some adverts yep. for, you know, off-world colonies or something. Yeah. I'd love to have like an advert running, like a, a full motion video advert running in the... Um, When you're parked up, but unfortunately, I would definitely need to pay to get that done. I don't have any uh, any assets like that. I'll have to settle for some animated billboards or something. That was one of the things that always got me in some of these games. Yeah, but eyes are off well. Being thinking that reminds me of um, what was the movie? Um, Not yeah, that's it. Yeah, and it's like you know, new job opportunities, make a new life, and that sort of thing. I was like, what? Yeah, yeah that was exactly like that. Yeah, that sign, that kind of. Uh, propaganda -y stuff. I mean, I think this game's done quite a good job of that sort of thing, overall. It does similar things. Yeah. Oh, I love the barrels down here, sir. I think it's hey. not possible to put footprints on the sand on the Sarlacc face. I don't think so. I've made such a mess! <laughs> uh, get all the gore out, then. Uh, yeah, I'm coming down the, the down the shaft. Yeah, the yeah just don't don't leave buckets in the shaft because I will end up knocking them over. Right. Where am I going, roughly? Uh, to your right. It's a nice flat bit up there. I won't be travelling through. Hereish. Yeah, that'll do. But, but I, I actually meant about 20 feet closer to me. So bring the next one like 20 feet closer. Right. Might need another hazard bucket as well. Right. Family-sized bucket coming through. When I say family size, I mean it's got a family in it. <laughs> well, I'll take this one down for you. Oh, I okay, you can do that. I'm so very easy. Oh, Blood, but there's really no point until I've got rid of all of the gore because it just comes well, back. I think that's one of your downfalls. I think like, the game wants you to do that. You know, pull it you know, piece up, you know, do some gore, do some bits. You know, yeah, well, end up with so many net actors, it becomes a problem. Well, it's not that. It's um, is if I don't, if I start to clean up and there's a body part and I don't notice, then I can end up making yeah. a gore patch and then trailing blood footprints around and. You've got yeah. to get rid of all the gore bits first. Human skull. Right, he's not using it anymore. I'll get some more water buckets. I reckon there's one more bucket of gore in here. Oh god! There's a bucket of gore in here. Uh, near the water bucket, which we haven't emptied yet. Oh, if you, well, if you carry it back carefully. Tad wasn't carrying buckets because he was worried about his internet. But free yeah, free to this, shove this, this bucket is absolutely freaking out. Stuff's hanging out all over the place, but it is actually inside the bucket. So it's like, we off properly on the fritz. Yeah, so one thing that physics can't do very well is objects inside containers. Objects. Yeah. yeah. But obviously they can't... What you would do normally is you would physically lock the objects inside. But then, of course, in this game, they want to be able to accidentally knock them out. So you have a, you have an unhappy situation where you're trying to do something that its engines don't really do. Yeah. Similar thing with Ashenir, where they try to do, like, do those wonderful ground trains 
um, and with all the vehicles, which just doesn't work. You just can't do it with physics, and they tried so hard to make it work. It's it. We should probably go back to Rashmi. They have they have added a whole bunch. Uh, that's right. somewhere on the list, just sort of waiting for uh, yeah. us to have some down. We've got quite a, quite a bunch of new, good new games this year so far, so... Uh, yeah, should be enjoying them. I think, with, think RimWorld with a multiplayer mod is quite likely soon as well, which I don't actually own. I own a, I own a very, very old version of it. Um, like Big Steam. Where is John? Are you in the shaft? I'm in the shaft, right at the end of the shaft. Uh, I'm coming down at him. A clean bucket of water for you. And I'll 20 feet fall from the top of the Sarlacc face. And I'll take the barrel away. I'll take this bucket of dirty water away in a sec. Okay. I don't know of um, any other games quite like the one I'm writing. I said it's a little bit like Elite, a little bit like um, what's that other one? Eve, but yep. mundane spaceships. Maybe that's the name of mundane spaceships. Like you're just driving and you're oh, just trying Eve, Eve can be quite mundane. I found yeah. one of the, the big problems with Eve. It's the it's a game that dares you not to play it. You know, it's that sort of level of oh, if you go outside, you might get blown up and lose all your shit. You yeah. know. And it's like, but if you do, you know, you can blow people up. I'm like, mm, I don't want to blow people up. I want to do something more mundane than that, you know. Yes. Oh, you can go and do some mining. Yeah, but that, that means I need protection, you know. Like, yeah. oh, okay, do it in high set. And like, yeah, but the rewards are low, you know. It's all sort of balanced. Yeah. In a way that means you're going to get dicked over more often than not, you know. Yeah, I mean, the problem with mining, certainly in um, my experience, and not specifically with Eve, which is my, my experience with Eve is all pre, pre-release playing it. Bloody ages old. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is... I like the concept of, all right, yeah, Matt, Brian, what we do, we're going to go and do some mining, right? Yeah, grab a, grab a cool missile ship and you just sit there. But it, there's not enough money to warrant two of us mining. Like, it's, you, you know, mining is a very low-profit um, thing. And so it's not as if you can actually really warrant one person sitting there mining and two or three people making sure, you know, just doing patrols. But that would be yeah. cool if that were the game. But it's uh, it's not. But this, I, it's much more, I'm gearing towards, basically, you're, you've got a spaceport. The deliveries come in, taxi drivers need, um, so ta people need fairing around taxis. Um, you've got... Uh, I like crazy taxis. Right. Uh, but not, but not, not, really, not so much crazy. Not cra a little bit. Um, but Taxiing. you know, you've also got deliveries of. Um, so what you can do is you can be a miner, and if you like mining, you just mine all evening long. No problem. Pick up, pick up resources, drop them off, and then those resources get turned into stuff. Yeah, you know, iron ingots, gold cogs, whatever. And then somebody else will pick up like ten thousand iron ingots and move them to the manufacturing system, and then that will make a whole bunch of things. Then you, you know, but as if you remember Jump Gate. A little bit more like Jump Gate sort of uh, stuff. I, I don't think yeah, Jump Gate was an awesome MMO. But it, it's, the, the game takes place in quite a small area and it's fully co op. So it's just like, so it's a bit more RPG. So you're flying oh, around. Like Factorio in space. Or something along those sort of lines. Yeah, but, but, but you think, don't need but, to worry about the, the manufacturing side of things. Yeah, but you're not you're not even worrying about that. All you're doing, you're only delivering stuff for money. If there's a, there's a higher purpose to it, you don't really give a shit. You're there for the money. Um, and as yeah. you as you level up, you can upgrade your ship, buy a bigger ship, um, that Great all that storage. sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah, all that sort of uh, ooha. But mostly, it's an excuse to write a game that's VR and networked. Um, that, that, oh, I just got the bucket. Yeah, VR and networked are the main important yeah. things. Also, I will put um, oh Bob note. Eat this. Um, also, it will definitely work on the motion platform. Is that, was, that was one of the thoughts that sucked me um, while I was eating my dinner the other night. Um, 
Uh, oh, I'm talking about what the bloody thought was. That'd be helpful, wouldn't it? Motion um, platforms, VR. No, no, no. Um, something about VR. Oh, what was it now? It'll come to me about two hours' time, I think. Um, oh, um. Something about False Horizons, I think. Oops. Oh, that was it. No, motion, motion platform in space. That was it. Yes. Um, I'm coming up the tunnel, by the way, with a dirty bucket. Um, my thought was that, let me just get my thoughts together before I say it. Um, funny the yeah. that in space, yes. you could use a motion platform because yes. um, all you're simulating is um, the acceleration... Um, G-forces, yes. G-forces, but you don't have to accelerate, for example, going up and down because there is no gravity. Yep. You know, it's unless you're sort of hitting the gravitation, you know, using thrusters and things, you'd only feel that. So that would probably work really well, I'd imagine. Well, I, I currently, I have already but implemented... The point is that but gravity, you know, IRL, you know, gravity in real life can be explained by it's your artificial gravity in your ship. Quite uh, easily, you know. Yeah, but the thing is, in the motion, in, in um, let's say, Rackfest, if I park my car on a slope, the motion rig tilts upwards. And you stay slope, sort of. And stay slope. And if I accelerate, the motion rig does two things. It moves um, forwards to make me feel like the car is driven forwards, but it can't do that very much. It can only give me a jolt forwards. But what it does is it tilts the rig backwards to give this give some G forces towards the back of my head from the fact I am on the planet Earth on gravity. Because when you accelerate, yeah, things tilt. Yeah, a car does tilt backwards, but a lot of the G forces is from the oh, right. the car. So when you accelerate in a in a spaceship, you only get the g forces. You don't get any of the tilt the tilt because there is no down. Just being pushed back. Yeah. yeah. So if you t if you oh, barrel roll the ship, you'll feel uh, twist forces. Nothing. Oh, well, no, you feel right. twist forces, but you if you stop part way round a barrel roll, you don't feel any force from that because there's no gravity. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't. So you know, like you're being pushed upwards or being pulled out of your seat because, yeah. I mean, technically, I suppose you can't simulate weightlessness on a motion rig. Nah. Not really, I guess. Nah. Um, but you know, if you if you say your ship has artificial gravity, that explains you know the gravity feeling in yeah. real life because you're in a yeah. ship. You know. And then well, if, well, 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 well. And then, then if I t if I subtract away tilt, your and pitch forces, um, then I can just say there's you know inertial dampers like Star Trek. Yeah. So my down is always the spaceship's down. There we go. Sold. Yeah. Because well, you're always in the damn thing. Yeah. You know? How much customization? I mean, let's say sound petty, but how much customization the ship might you give? Well. Or is that just me being really ridiculous? Because you, you're sat in it, you only get to see it. Very much. Well, everybody else gets to see it. Yeah. Well, I have an old document about this. Um, the very minimum, and something I've already got, when you name your ship, you get a decal appear on the outside of your ship with a name on it. Which I don't think I've ever seen in the game. I don't think that's ever been done before. As far as I One know. One of the big things Eve was trying to do was give you kill marks on your ship. Oh, right. Um, but, but the problem with that, as you may imagine, is as soon as the ship gets blown up, that gets oh. lost. Yeah. So they came up with the idea, well, let's just give people skins to make ships look expensive and pretty and, you know... But then that's meant people knew that was expensive skin, they want to kill you for it, you know? At least not, you know, yeah. those that are in I mean, high, uh, low tech. Yeah, I mean, it's the thing, I, I have no desire to play a game with, I say, open warfare. Like, I just don't, yeah. I'm just not interested in that game. I know some people are. I, I want yeah. my stuff, I don't, unless I have expressly opted in, I don't ever want to lose my stuff. I am progressing and levelling and getting new stuff. Um, I don't want to lose it. Um, One I mean, of the worst things they did in the game was um, not, you know, it's the players rather than the people in CCP. But one of the worst things in the game was, um, what was it? They called it Burn Jita, which is one of the base, one of the what happened to develop into one of the main trading hubs. Um, and they basically were, you know, just killing people coming in and out of Jita, this this trading hub. Um, and it didn't matter who you were, you got killed. You know, and of course. The system is geared up to, if you uh, are in that system and you kill someone without um, just cause, then you get killed too. Which is fine, because they're using cheap nasty ships to blow up really expensive stuff. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, similar thing happened in Warcraft. You ended up in a place called Taran Mill. Essentially, people would agree 
to fight there. You just PvP out in the world there. Because it was close enough to a alliance base and a horde base, you could respawn and come back in. But the problem was, it would bring down servers, because the game was never designed for five or 600 people to all turn up on a um, uh, the same area and start to beat the shit out of each other. Like, huh. like it what really wasn't. Like, like genuinely, you get two or three thousand people, and the server would keel over because it was expe It was geared up for like a hundred people per zone, and you know you wander between zones, and it will happily take two or three hundred, but it, it gets unhappy if those three hundred become six hundred, and we all start casting spells. Turn to one server, yeah. I mean, that was one of the things that always amused me about Eve, you know. If you go for a big battle, things would slow down, you get time dilation, which is their way of sort of coping with loads of people all trying to do things at once. Yeah. Um, which I thought was really clever, but you'd end up sort of with 100% time dilation and things taking forever. When you say time yeah. dilation, you mean the server was running slowly, and they just say, uh, it's time dilation. No, no, the server's running at full tilt, but yeah, the but problem was that there's so, so many people in one server. Slow. Yes, the simulation, yeah. yeah. The idea being, it couldn't cope with that much you know, that many people all trying to shoot each other or heal and, and counter each other's actions and things. Yes. I can we bring the well, Of course, yeah, so long to, to, to so long to steer over what was happening, you know, uh, you were secondly constantly second guessing what you'd done. You know, did I press that button? I'll press it again. You know, and that makes that makes that compounds the issue. You can know. you bring the buckets all the way to the end, please? Uh all the way to the end being I don't think I've been all the way to the end yet. All sorry. the way to the end. Let's start uh let's start clearing oh, down the map there. Okay. Have you have you got all the got the bits of gore out? I think so. So you take this dirty bucket. Okay. Uh, let me put this one down. Yeah. Oh, what? That wasn't. I didn't drop that. Oh, fuck. Put it at forty-five degrees. Oh, well, take both buckets. Fuck off. Take, take both. The, take the empty bucket at least. Oh, you can put one in the other, can't you? Um. Yeah, but it's it, it has a bit of a. I don't know. Get me. There you go. Nice and gently. Okay. Now, now let go. Nice and gently. Perfect. I let go and grab the bottom bucket. Yeah. Well, we've got about ten feet further down the corridor. But yeah, if you keep bringing me clean buckets, uh. I'll, start, I'll start to move stuff well. out from the end. Has everyone else just not remembered it's BTD tonight? Oh, oh, bollocks, physic. I just tapped out, that's why. You're a bad man. Because it freezes up for like two seconds when I alt tab because it's an old game. <clears throat> Yeah, but... old, no, because you're an old gamer. <laughs> Do you remember when old games you wouldn't oh, get? Oh no! What? No, no, no! It's bringing up a bucket old... machine to give me some bit spooge oh, instead. Oh, don't worry about it. But do you remember old games though, where you wouldn't dare alt tab out? <laughs> that was it. There's no way you tab out because it would probably crash or not come back. But uh, you take the it for fuck? You take it for granted these days. <laughs> um, oh. The bucket machine seems to have a conveyor belt that goes much longer, much further than it's supposed to. Oh. And now, it's, now it's caught up. There is so much blood. Oh, if I if I'd used my brain, I would have messaged everyone on my phone rather than on um, <laughs> uh, on my on my PC. Um, what sort of goods do you? I suppose you could, you could transport in your your new game. Water. Well, the best thing is you don't see Raw the goods, material? so it can be literally anything. So goods uh, are just just text. I don't need to have a graphic for every good. Um, well, I suppose you could have some sort of icon system. I might walk into the clean area. Uh, yeah, that's do. good. Let's uh, go, go get another bucket. Now, if you just if you just walk buckets back and forth, by the time you've come back here, I'll have filled this bucket up with your. Um, yeah, so um, at the minute, I've got, I've got the first bit working. So right now, you can go to a taxi rank, P1, 
pick up somebody and drop them off. And you can only drop them off at warp gates because it's the only other thing. But I designed it so everything is just a trigger box. Like, there's no difference between a warp gate and an and a iron refinery other than what I say it is. So it can look like anything, but fundamentally it's just a trigger box. So it's, right. it becomes quite easy for me to add and remove stuff um, from the game because it's all quite idiot proof. The warp gates accept people and we just disappear them. Taxi. Oh, ranks. a bit like Open TTD in terms of this station accepts this, that, and the other yep. only. Yeah. So, so taxi ranks generate people and warp gates. Well, you know, story wise, they send people elsewhere, but in practice, they just make people disappear. Um, so I've already got plans for um, asteroid mining. And I'm going to have a think because I like asteroid mining. Oh, fuck, I knocked the bucket over. So it's at a slightly wonky angle. Um, I like asteroid mining in games, but I really don't like fishing. So I wonder if I can somehow marry the two. Well, you've got a couple of options um, in terms of science fiction lore and things that are out there. Um, I think it was Red Dwarf that where the ship docked or made part of itself become part of the asteroid. Is that yes. right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think that's something else. Yeah, that's Red Dwarf. And you propose, and you basically mined it. You mined the ship, and you moved with the asteroid as you went along. So in theory, you could you could get, dispose of the asteroid when you were finished, when it was yeah. void of all useful material. Yes, it's quite a good idea that one. Although you'd have to like find the asteroid and cut it down to fit. Or you know, dock into it or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, it will be mostly an asteroid appears at one end of the, the... It will appear in the warp and will then rotate out of the player area and you capture it. Um, I'm going to nick the thing I had in the underwater game. So, asteroids will spawn. And you might have a scanner, but more likely you don't really have a clue what's in an asteroid. But the guy yeah. in the... So, like... Um, what's he call it? Uh, character man. One of the players... Or the, the players will have a big hollow deck. That they a hollow map that they can look at, so you can say, "Hey, can someone tell? I need uh, we need some silver because we're we're lacking. I don't know what silver is used in. Yeah, what, silver bullets. Can anyone tell if an ast a silver asteroid has spawned? Then the ATC player can actually look around the map. Because one I'll of my yeah, because yeah, I have found. Well, maybe the map isn't two D. Map can be three D, and they're standing in the centre of it, like a yeah. um, uh, what do they call it? Um, not Starnasium. Oh well, it's like the one in um, yeah. like the one in Character Man. I mean that that is so good in VR. That map, yeah, there's good enough. Drop it there. Okay. Yeah, that map is so good in VR um, because the map is all 3D. And lots and lots of little upgrades to your ship as well. So I think that's important. That's my biggest complaint about this. Is like I want to upgrade my lot. I really do, and my buckets. I want to upgrade my shoes. Have we got a bio, what do we call it, box? Do you have a What's that? A bio... No, a if you, if you, I, I've just been, there's only been, there's so few bits left over, I've just been chucking away. Hey, Dad. Okay, I'm going to go grab a box. Hey, Dad. Well, now the bio has a material box decided to spit out Gibbs instead. Of course it did. Yeah, one thing I, I believe is a good idea in computer games is is leveling of some script and growth of your character and yeah. or your gear and especially yeah. when you oh bollocks when you don't put a limit on it so you if you yeah. want to you make me make it make it diminishing returns but it means if you want to if you get stuck you just keep leveling and keep leveling and keep leveling until you know you can do the thing in one second that you take to 100 seconds it doesn't matter because people have put yeah. in like six months of uh, gameplay in order to achieve this imbalance yeah so well, they, they, get the, they get the reward they yeah. get a reward but it means that they've if they're good they can do it straight away and if they're rubbish then they can just grind away until they get good yeah and so the live for speed um, RPG stuff. It was very cool, but it had the issue that if you delivered a hundred kilograms or something, you got let's say a hundred dollars. If you just right. delivered six hundred kilos, like which is a mission that there's six hundred, you got like a hundred and ten dollars. 
So you would end up getting a big cargo truck that could take like a thousand kilos, but it would only net you like twenty dollars more than the starter one. It's like oh, I don't think you balance keep, this. Keep rolling, yeah. Keep doing the starter one over and over to get the maximum amount. Of money. It's kind of like shareware when they they that was they came out with imbalanced bits on you. Play the shareware to shit to get loads and loads of money, and then when the real game comes, yeah, I got loads of money. Way, you know. What game did you do that on? Um, Raptor. Oh, Raptor was good. Raptor, when you got the um, uh, the auto tracking minigun. Oh, that was good. I love that gun. Great game. Mustn't think about shooting up, so I'll, I'll end up trying to write one again. I keep starting a shoot em up. <laughs> well, I'd like. What I want is I want Shump. a sequel to Tyrion, and I want it to be networked with procedural loot and unlimited players and unlimited difficulty. That's what I want. I keep, I keep not starting it. I keep doing a little bit of work on my one. That's what I want. And I like the idea of games where you can play them. Games like uh, Time uh, Time Refters, was it Time Keepers? Time Refters. Where there's no limit to the game. So if one of us decides to go and poop socket during the week, everybody else can just catch up with them very quickly because they can carry the players. So in this unlimited shooter, you might put in like a, a Wednesday afternoon just playing the game. And then every, you go, oh, I've got this really powerful gun, and you can help everybody else get a better gun. I, I would really like that. Um, yeah. Procedural load, it, to me, procedural load is so good. I love it. Yes. I mean, have you ever played um, Mother Gunship? No. That's um, a game where basically you, you're, the gun you shoot with is, is various bits that bolt together, but the bits that bolt together are randomly found on um, and as you find them, you can upgrade the gun to make it different, shall we say. It can get better, it can get more powerful, but I think it's trying to balance it, and ultimately you can only hold so many bits and... Um, you know, oh, it's, it's just... that's the first-person shooter! Yes, I have yeah. seen it, but I've not played it. I'll stick it on the wish list. Oh, it's got co-op as well. It's Borderlands, not, not but, but even more ridiculous. Oh yes, it is crazy ridiculous. But you know that's that's the thing. You can go right. I'll have I'll have a rocket launcher, another rocket launcher, and I'll slap these three rocket launchers together if we've got enough bits to bolt them all together. What was the one yeah, I was playing? Quite ludicrous. Uh, I was playing one game recently. Uh, yes, that was all uh, plugged together bits as well. That was, but it wasn't Space Run. That was two D. Apparently, I played this in. Uh, wait, hold on. No, Space Run's. I haven't played Space Run in a long time, so why is it telling me I, I played it in January? Because I definitely didn't. Oh, I've opened it and closed it, maybe. Oh, uh, Cosminator. That's the one I've been playing a little bit. Um, it is only cheap, but I've been looking for shoot ups with procedural loot, and there really aren't very many. Cosminator's weird because you can start again, but I can't work out why you would. But Cosminator... Oh, the prestige thing. Yeah, but in, but in this case, you're like, but why would I? Because all it does is it just lets you jump to where you were quicker. It doesn't let you then progress further. But yeah, procedural loot are far and few between. And I have a very powerful procedural loot system that I've written for a number of games and, and improved them and pulled it between them. Um, I just never shipped the game with it in. I started it for Fortunecraft 2D. I expanded it for uh, Zombie Village. Uh, I've used it for um, a number of games. So like Zombie Village is a similar game. So in that one, the idea is you have to kill all the zombies. So it's a tower defence game, but you get overwhelmed. Right? You will eventually lose the level. But there are a finite number of zombies. So let's say level only has 100,000 zombies. But as it goes on, you can craft and upgrade weapons for your turrets. So they're all procedural. So the idea is, eventually, you're cranking the difficulty up so there are thousands of zombies spawning a minute. So you are tearing through enormous numbers of zombies. It's nearly done, actually. What's isn't the it? popular vampire game out right now? <laughs> I don't know. What's the popular vampire game out right now? Oh. The Batman? Because that one sounds... It's not procedural loot, but it has that many zombies in it. Or vampires in it. And you have to kill all the... The idea is that you'll, you'll fail a level, then you'll go back with better guns and do better and do better. Until eventually you whittle the population of uh, yep. Batman to zero. But yeah, I'd like to finish it. The thing is now, with a lot of these games, I look at it going, 
I'd really want to add networking. The problem I did find, uh, certainly with the cute zombie village, as I just I ran into the limiting of Unity's shitty route finding. It's usually sad. <laughs> Like, it doesn't understand if there are two mobs. Let's say there's five mobs oh, running, geez. walking in a row. Okay, they're walking in a conga line, and the front mobs stop. The others should go around them, but they don't. They just walk into them and push them out of the way. And they all take exactly the same path. It's just horrible. And they've never improved it. Not in a 15 years, or whatever long I've been using it, for about 15 years. Has it got any better? It's still shit. And they've. I, I asked the question. Mostly after playing Dungeon Defenders, going, I'd like to set it up so I've got big characters and little characters, or good and bad characters, you know. So the good characters can go through the good character doors and the bad can go through the bad character doors, or ogres can go through big doorways, but not little ones, but goblins go through both. And the response was, oh, yeah, you, you can't do that. And I'm like, oh, well, yeah, that, that to me is like a fairly fundamental thing. And they have added it now, like, oh, genius. And, but you have to write it all yourself. So they basically added in, how can I put it? It's when they it's like they say we've invented the jigsaw puzzle, they go, Yeah, we'll send you a picture and you get to cut it up yourself. I you know, I feel like I'm doing too much of the work here for, for it to just be described yeah. as you've done this. But yeah, I haven't played Mother Gunship, we'll stick that on the list because that, that does have co-op. But um Time Rifters does look similar. It is a shame because I enjoy Time Rifters a lot, but we've never played it, so I don't think anybody else owns it. And I really like I've played it. Lots and lots and lots. So it's an idle game, and an incremental game, and a first person shooter. So when you're not playing it, your character is earning money, and you come back and then you know you get this huge squirt of progression. And then obviously it's like... So you don't sort of, you do actually get to move forward in the game even if you're struggling? Yes, if you, yeah, good. If you get stuck you just go, I'll come back and then you can defeat the boss you were stuck on. Oh, I've got After some water Ah, oh, that's made it worse. I seem to recall there are several sequels to Raptor that I've never played. Raptor was by Epic, wasn't it? Um, I think so? I couldn't swear to it. It's been a very, very long time. I can probably pull the floppy disk out that it came on, though. <laughs> I've got it on my NAS somewhere. Is it Naz or Nas? My friend Naz, said, my friend is very tempted to say... Nas to be double S, wouldn't it? Well, to I like saying Nas. Yeah, it has to be but... Nas. Otherwise, what would you call something that's your network area super storage? An ASS? Yeah, a Nas. That'd be a Nas, because it's two S's. Yeah. Oh, there's a body there, body part there. Ugh. I did, did make Raptor, might just play, played Raptor. Mm. Oh, watch out, body part. But basically, I always uh, focus on getting the uh, auto. I'm, I'm totally going to play that a little bit tomorrow. I love Raptor, assuming you can still play it. So I also went. I had to. I had to give. Had to give Plants vs Zombies a negative review, as it is no Why? longer playable on modern hardware. You cannot play it. The whole game oh. runs in a window, 320 by 200, in the wrong colours. There's nothing you can do. There's no settings. It was written with a... On Steam? Yeah, on Steam. Yeah. But I don't know, on Steam. And you just can't play it anymore. Yeah. It's just, it's it's just got... It's got too old. Even compatibility? I've tried, compatibility I've tried mode, doesn't it? everything. It's just... You don't, you don't need that for Steam, I thought. Well, no, you do. Because if it's written in, like, it's, it's written in DirectX 5... In fact, it was. Wow. Um, it depends if it uses any Windows calls, really. Where's the computer? Uh, it's up where you spawn, near the furnace. Near the furnace? Yeah, it's behind the furnace. Oh, okay, that's not where you spawn. It's opposite where you spawn. Yeah, I like, I, I'd like, I did enjoy Raptor a lot. Um, but yeah, Raptor, with multiplayer, but design your own ship. So in Tyrion, you designed your ship. And you could have a ship that could fire constantly, or you could twiddle it and have a ship that do twice as much damage, but only for a brief period of time. So you could def you could design your ship how you wanted. Do you want to, you know, do you want to be Jacobs or Vladov? 
So that was good. So you could design your ship, you know, correctly or wrong, depending on whether or not you went down with Jacob. So uh, that I like, that I like. Uh, speaking of which, by the way... I love how we will have this argument for the rest of the time we know each other. Uh, well, I mean, if you like, we can go into Borderlands 1, we can go into the PvP area, you can just use Jacob's and I'll just use Vladov, and we'll see how many times you win. I was thinking about Borderlands might be quite Do fun. I even have Borderlands 1? I thought it was one of about four platforms. I know I've got two in the pre-sequel. But I was um, interested, we could do Borderlands speed running. Like basically yeah. play it one evening, see how far we got, and then see if we could see if we could improve it. Because you'll get to, I don't know, Borderlands 2, you'll probably get to Captain Flint in a two or three hours, no, three hours, however did you get to? Further than Flint. Would my internet even work with that? Because I'm rubber banding like hell in this game. Um, I do. I think there's no amount of sucking in C, unfortunately. It's the same one. engine, isn't it? Yeah. This is the yeah. same engine. Epic are a little bit better than, uh, what, what do you call it? Firecracker software? Firegate? No. Oh, uh, this one's Runestorm. Runestorm, that's it. Mind you, Ted. Coming through. Thank you. Yeah, I have been extremely concerned about the amount of bandwidth my next game is using. All the way through. I'm, I've been thinking about it all the time. So trying to make sure the player has as much information as they need, but not overloading information to them. The thing is, I always design my networking the same way. Is that my Fortress Craft does it? So when a new player joins the level in Fortress Craft, I don't just say, okay, cool, here are 10,000 mobs. I just say to you, every tick, here's a mob near you doing this, here's a mob near you doing this. If it's a mob you know about, you go, cool, and you update the mob. And if it's not a mob you know about, you go, oh, shit, and then you add the mob. So it just means that the load of adding in more um, uh, mobs takes place, it might take over 10 minutes, because it takes you 10 minutes to see the mobs. But too many of the games we play, they're obsessed with transmitting you the whole world immediately. It's like you just don't need that. So I have been thinking of you, Tad, all the way through the development of the game. I appreciate that. Well, I think people just hate getting jarred by stuff loading in. If it had a cool animation when it loaded in, like but, okay, resing I... in from replic or uh, teleporters from Star Trek or something, people would be like, oh, okay, that's right. different, but, but, but all but right. But imagine in this game, right? So let's say in this game it takes 30 seconds to transmit to you the position of all the objects on the level. Would you rather sit on a loading screen for 30 seconds, or would you rather just have the objects appear over 30 seconds? Oh, hell yeah. Wait, yeah. or watch it appear. Yeah. Because by the time you've loaded, looked around, got comfy, right, you, you'll see something, you'll deal with it, and then, you yeah, know, things are just, even if you just see them popping, they res in even cooler. But it's not... As hard. long as I don't, it, as long as it doesn't, like, I teleport into something while it's doing it. Well, no, because obviously all the simulation does take place on the server. But more importantly, it's like Transport Tycoon, where it's like, all right, yeah, we're all going to sit for three minutes while you load. It'd be much better if your client got sent the map bit by bit by bit. Even if you see it appear, you're not going to mind. You'll be like, and because you're on a fast internet connection, it'll happen in one second. If you're on a slow internet connection, you might Yeah, you won't notice. But once you've got a bit of the map loaded, you can start to interact with that. You should be able weird. to interact with that, you know, almost immediately. So this body part came out of the, um, the water bucket dispenser, taking uh, an angle straight underneath the floor, yeah. very, very slowly. The dispenser kept on dispensing, sort of going through its dispensing cycle, until that thing had disappeared under the floor and then appeared where it's supposed to have appeared. Yeah, that, that, that's yeah. just network. That's a bit broken. Where is the screen stuff coming from? Uh, Alien blood? And specifically, it would be from down here, originally. Oh, fucking hell. Um, I don't you... even remember there being aliens on this uh -oh. map. Oh. No, there's alien blood because of the, um, um, Sarlacc. No, it's, oh, vomit from the, uh, I, Sarlacc, yeah. I just All spilled right. a bucket on the Sarlacc and no decals up here. Oops. I hope that's not a problem. Oh, we'll find out. 
I've burned 1,600 objects in this game. That's my biggest complaint about Court Keeper. No achievements. Damn it. I like these. Are oh, my... they haven't put them in yet. These, this game has. This my... is their first pass. This game has my favourite types of achievements. They just do a shit ton of stuff, and here's your current progression on it. I love that. Generate, generate ten thousand of these. You're like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna go mad doing that until I get my achievement. Wait, that um, what did push me around? No, that's fine. I had no idea what was going on. And in oh, Fortress no, Craft, I tried to use the achievements. Looks like you were trying to get me to drink the bucket. In Fortress Craft, I tried to get the achievements to be a way of saying to players, if you think you've done everything, go look at the achievements and you go, ooh, I didn't think about doing that. Or, you know, what's a dazzler? All the uh, creative mode achievements make me cry. Uh, oh, they're easy to get. I never got the cylinder one. I, I did the mech cylinder and I was like, eh. It's like, oh. Ah. Give me the achievement. Should work. That used to work. Better the settings didn't let me do the max. Actually, that would have been silly. Um, no, I can't remember. Do you still get questions for how to get the uh, Twitter achievement? Yep. Yeah, about one a week. That was a good. That was a good idea. And I'm definitely putting that in the future. I don't know if they follow me. Uh, Will that actual be unfollowed. able to be implemented in? <laughs> well, I like the interaction. I think people appreciate it too. I mean, yeah, but it doesn't actually work like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you can just. I mean, you can just type it without asking people, obviously. That misses the point. Are you going to leave that arm up in the t in the ceiling? I don't think that arm's supposed to be there, Tad. I think that arm's there because you blew me up. <laughs> nah, that can't that can't be what happened at all. Uh, well, I can check the end of the last stream. Do you, are, are you hearing this slander? <laughs> there is video evidence. It's not slander if it's. True. I have selective amnesia. <laughs> That's okay. I'll, I'll link it to you. <laughs> Where were you last night? We were playing breakfast. It was all Appreciate time. that. <laughs> you have a steering the wheel now. Breakfast. Networking doesn't work for me. I've written breakfast completely off. Um, it's they have done a lot of improvements to networking. They say so. It might be uh, because it was just kicking you out sometimes, wasn't it? But yeah, I you should just give it a bash next time. I mean, I I don't know if you watched the stream, but I had the issue. I kept teleporting under the world, so. I'm on. I'm on a LAN with the server, and I'm the only. It's probably watch some of the that, stream. But I'm the only person this happens to. Essentially, everybody else loads in a new map apart from me. So I drive around on the old map, and everybody else drives around on the new map. Yeah. You don't see it sounded like that would ever be a problem. Uh, well, I just have to watch the race, I, and I can't. I don't notice it happen until the race has started. That's the worst bit. I would like a magnetic thingy in this game. Like maybe a magnetic fist. Yeah, as I was saying, my biggest complaint about this game is I would kill for improvements. Brr. I like the game, I do, but I want by how can I put it? By the time I've I've played this game for a hundred hours, mopping is still the same exact same gameplay experience it was the first. You're still playing the exact same game. Yes, yeah. it hasn't changed, and that's why leveling is important. You know, that's fine. I mean, as my character gets has better mobs, you can just throw more and more blood at me. That's fine, because the experience is changing. But, like, I'd love a magnet that can shoot. I mean, the thing is, even if it's their ethos, imagine, like, a magnet that pulls together all nearby metal things. So then you use it to pick up loads of bullets. Or uh, you pull over a bunch of barrels with gore on them. Because it would invariably go wrong as well. Uh, there's a knife here. But there, are, the game was also limited by the at the time by the engine because it this game really doesn't like more than a X amount of items. <laughs> um, the thing is, they're using 
um, Unreal's built-in networking rather than rolling their own. But that was designed for first-person shooters, not for many, many hundreds of physics objects. Oh, and there aren't there aren't just things like that in first-person shooters. It makes sense. Well, um, object. But yeah, but not hundreds. I, I, not first-person shooters with hundreds of physics objects. No. And all the blood that it renders through yeah. the network. <laughs> ah, I knew there was another USB stick down here. This is looking a bit, this is looking quite clear now. So all of the YouTubers have got their Amiga 500s and uh, the reviews are glowing. So far, saying this is absolutely brilliant. That's good. Amigo? Amiga. Amiga. Female. Oh, 3D printer? A computer from the 1980s. You know the SNES Mini and the NES Mini and the Meg Drive, sorry, the Genesis Mini and all of those things. Okay. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. No, I know what a NES and Super NES. I didn't know they made a micro version of them. That's really? pretty cool. I've got them all. I've got the only one I don't have is the NES because I never really played NES games. But I've got the NES, the Neo Geo, the. Famicom, but someone did. But, but they're all I official. do have the Atari one that has all the games preloaded into it. Yeah. Um, but I. Which I thought was really cool. But I've just ordered the Commodore Amiga one, which is a home computer. Now I didn't have that one. I had an Atari ST, but basically the same. The Amiga was slightly better graphics and 100 pounds more expensive. Um, but it means I get to play a lot of the games I played. Uh, but I get to play them idiot proof. I've got emulators, but it's just effort most of the time. I just want to go on, click, sit back on my sofa, grab the pad, play it. I don't want to have to say, okay, so what ROM revision do I need for this one? Uh, oh, well, that's sort of baffling. I have the Commodore 64. I wonder if Nintendo's ever going to offer something like that. Well, you have the NES Mini and the SNES Mini, so yes. I guarantee you those aren't from Nintendo. I guarantee you they are. Really? Yeah. That's cool. But the thing is, it oh, makes, that it, is it, they very put, unexpected. They even put Star Fox 2 on there, which was an unreleased game. People were very excited about it. Wow. Um, people are crying out for the N64 Mini, but we'll see if and when that comes. Um, and what? a GameCube My Mini. My kid's got a Game Boy thing. Uh, this Christmas. Um, yeah, I was gonna. Preloaded. I was gonna say. I'm waiting for the Game Boy one. That one's gonna Look, be nutty. It's, got, it's preloaded with a whole bunch of games. Well, like 300, 400 games, something made like that. What is it? Like it's, like it's love it. It's just a, wow. a Game Boy ripoff. Okay, but what is it? Is it GP32 or? I'm quite up in this scene. So like specifically, what is it? Do you know? Uh, no, it's a knockoff. Ah. Yeah, but 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 what is it? Because there are some quite big ones in this market. The GP32 is the biggest and probably the best one. Um, um, I, I didn't notice any real important markings on the box. Yeah, an official Game Boy. A Game Boy SP. Oh, I'll make myself just, just slightly horny think about it. A Game Boy SP re-release with a hundred yeah. of the best games on there. With a modern oh. screen and a modern battery. I mean, I've got an SP. Got, this, the one oh. I've got has got um, uh, a battery. But they there. would have the same networking. QQ. Oh, Nokia. Advance Wars. It's got about four hours run time. I mean, I actually replaced the battery in my Game Boy SP, so I have a modern, brand new battery, not the 10 year old battery I did have. My SP oh, I've got, I've got died down here. because the shoulder buttons failed and I just ripped them apart to try to get the shoulder buttons to work longer. Well, I have three Game Boy SPs. I have a silver one, a tribal huh, one, and a black one, and Dora fucking broke one. These, I've had these for 20 years, and they are the last knock, she smacked it off the shelf. How? And, and it just broke the, broke the, the hinge. That'll do it. Well, then. And I'm chucking stuff halfway down the corridor. Ooh, thank Take you. The rest of the way. I'm keeping this bucket here with Gibbs in, just for when the bucket when the bucket machine produces buckets of Gibbs, uh, Gibbs rather than buckets of stuff, so... Yeah, so there's a SNES Mini, NES Mini, Famicom Mini, Neo Geo Mini, all by different companies, C64 Mini, which is also the VIC-20 Mini, um, PlayStation Mini, 
Um, one of the interesting ones, by the way, is the C64, because there's a full-size C64 Mini. That's exactly the same, only the keyboard works. And it's obviously keyboard size, which is ever so cool. There's quite a lot of manufacturers. Oh, okay. The NES Mini was the first one, and it sold like 1.7 million units. And then Nintendo were like, oh, well, we'll order another million units now. And then they were like, we can't book another factory for two years. They're all backed up. This isn't, you know, this isn't how it works. They're like, make more. Nintendo were like, we can't. So, uh, yeah, the NES Mini was enormously popular. And um, I, I'm really hoping for an N64 Mini. That would be... Who's mopping down here? I uh, 90. So I want to get. I was moving the barrels out. I think we're like 95% everywhere now. Cool. What do we do with um, the flares, by the way? Ignore them unless they turn up on the on the the, the um, sniffer. Don't remember the sniffer. Right. Ignore it. Okay, I was just gonna make a neat, nice little neat pile. But there's usually stuff hiding. I've just read, I've just got another bit of the pedestrian award, so I'm assuming that somebody else cleaning up footsteps counts towards my achievement. Right, cool. Of me doing one. Yeah, but I think that was my that was the fifteen thousandth one that I've been around. So that's good. So it, that means that I have a clean up fifteen thousand footsteps because that did strike me as an awful lot. Especially with this map. But it's surprising that Nintendo put that up because can't you rent the old games on the Switch? You'd yeah. think they'd be much more interested in keeping that going. Um, different arm, I guess, of the company. I mean, this may have actually been before the Switch. It was, it was quite a few years ago, the, the NES Mini, but that one started this craze. But I've got them all. I've got them all lined up. Oh, if it was before, the there you go. But the SNES Mini was definitely after. But yes, I've got them all lined up and they're all very nice and they do look cool and they even come with retro controllers and you realise how bad the PlayStation 1 controller is. Ooh. Oh my word. Oh it's yeah. Such a... <laughs> but you have to play racing games and to accelerate its A... To break... Putting the analogue fix it. Awesome. Well yeah. To accelerate its A, to break its X and to steer it's the D-pad. So you try playing a racing game where you're steering on a D-pad accelerating with A. Like trying oh. to play Final Fantasy without the thumb or the joysticks is just pain. Ah, I see what you mean, Brian, because there are two types of barrels. There's one marked barrels, one marked barrels, and one is definitely blue, and one is definitely yellow, isn't it? Yeah. And we're putting them in the wrong one. Does I know. It, it I don't think it matters, but do you want to try it? Like, I put them in the right ones when I did this map, but we could do it the other way, see nah, what happens. Nah, you're right. Um, there are bullet holes to be repaired. I found four of them. Where are your oh, bullet good. holes? Oh no, that, that you found, that's good. Yeah. There's lots of bullet holes by the side. Yeah, up by the burner? Yeah, I found those. There's a load down by the uh, bottom Which side side back? near the artifacts. Oh. Ah. I was fixing those. Other things might have happened while I was doing it. Uh, oh, really? What sort of things? I'm not sure what kind of things those were, but it was very, very disconcerting. No, no, it was only explosive diarrhea. <laughs> oh, no! I won't be having what he had. <laughs> Oh, um, oh, I've, I've heard about that at the restaurant around here. Max, I pinged you with a couple of things on Discord over the last two or three days, um, but I don't, right. I don't know if you check your pings. I don't. Okay, so what, what, I remember what one of them was. Um, in Core Keeper, when you harvest your plants, tell me if you already knew this, when you harvest your plants, do it with a watering can and hold down both buttons and you water, you, you dig up and re-water the square in one action. Didn't know that. Ah, I found that one out because I was That's trying to. Cool, I was trying to catch you up a little bit because um, we got to the point where what we needed was just more people with more skills because we were struggling on the bosses. But if we all had 
level 20 cooking and mining because you get you get useful stats for your level no matter what it is so yeah i discovered that and there's something else as well and there's something i want to link you but it's on the wrong computer um and i can't link it to you because for some reason the clipboard has stopped working between my two computers and i don't know why um what? Your mouse out borders has got out of sync. Well, no, because I've restarted both computers. Like, oh. but I, oh, I'm really looking forward to actually reusing that because I can't use it at the moment because I'm not actually working in the office anymore. I, I can still drag um, files between the two um, computers. I just can't use the clipboard. It's weird. Like, uh? that is very weird. Oh, and I think I might know what's wrong with my graphics card. Yes. Too hot, it's dirty, it's shit. Too old, it smells. You oh. accidentally oh. turned on 400% said... DSR. I hope not. No, remember how I used to say this was a 1650 card and you were like, what's that in real money? Because that's not an actual, like, official designation, that's a computer builder designation. Uh, they... Well, I checked my computer stuff and now it's... Now it's listed as a 1060, so they've changed the listing for it. And I so, wonder so if right that's now, right where now, all this instability right now, is coming press from. Press the Windows key, press R, type DX Diag, click on Display, hit Alt Print Screen, tab to Discord, hit Control V, and I'll tell you exactly what the you've got. Oh, I've got a storage gate code here. Uh, it's okay, we've done that. Oh, okay. So I've been the, been the message. Yeah. Yeah, so DX Diag, tab, show me the display tab. Because there has been a thing, and hopefully you haven't been caught by this, of people getting very, very desirable video, uh, very shit video cards, and flashing them so the startup BIOS reports a, f a nice video yeah, I, card. I, I, if you're buying a 1060 and it's reporting itself as a 1080. Minus the video on that. Yes. Yeah, I've seen that. It's very not ideal. Because we do a similar thing at the arcade. Um, sometimes we take better video cards and we um, make them appear as shit video cards. So then the game will run with a shit video card, but it's actually running a better one. So quite a lot of the latest generation... Oh, what? For about the last 15, 16 years, arcade games just use video cards. But they almost exclusively use, uh, I think, 7800s, and we just can't get them. But we can get 8400s and make them appear as a 7400. And the game doesn't... No, it doesn't care. It's just checking it's what it thinks it is, but doesn't actually care. Why does the game care which one it is anyway? Or does it need that? It's making sure you're not running it on dodgy hardware. Oh. But you are. You're yeah. running it on better hardware. Uh, yeah, but it's... I doesn't understand that. The concept it, it of, can't know that. Yeah, the concept of flashing yeah. a video card to do that just wasn't around then. But yeah, we, we have this issue quite a lot, and we found that Sega will sell us the right video cards, but they're selling us 7,800 GTs for 500 quid, and it's like... We'll buy them off eBay for 30. But how is Sega supposed to keep making Sonic movies if you don't give them that money? Um, the different business unit. Uh, I can guarantee that, but <laughs> <laughs> still. Even this game has a surprising amount of detail. Like the the uh, ceiling here is all like hewn rock. Despite it being an older engine, they have done an excellent job of ploughing in as much detail as the poor little Unreal Three could manage. 
people, everyone's still impressed by what they could have done with the original Game Boy cartridges. There was <laughs> not a lot of room in those things, and yet, oh, yeah. Pokemon. <laughs> well, I mean, even that, I mean, people uh, continue to develop stuff for, you know, the Commodore 64 and the Game Boy and things. But people have got much better at programming really? in the last 40 years. Oh, yeah, so people have got better at programming. The hardware hasn't changed, but people have got better at programming. And I don't mean they know how to use the hardware more, like, fundamentally, techniques like break casting like doom you uh, wolfenstein used didn't exist um, and people have got very 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 good at writing algorithms like this so you end up with uh not even demos like complete games oh, that's being cool written. so a friend of mine he's a, now what's he gonna release is it Baldur's Gate for the ps1 i think it is it's like holy shit <laughs> something else a couple of ps1 games they're releasing like modern games but written for the ps1 how the fuck he's going to destroy So, people it. that want games for the PS1? Well, bear in mind, you and I are a little bit old, Max, but if you were 10 years younger than us, the, 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 the PlayStation 1 might be what you got given on your sixth birthday or something. That would be, you know, what you have all the nostalgia for. Whereas, I'm, I'm a little bit old for that one. The PlayStation 1 was, uh, you know, look at this PlayStation 1, I'm like, I have a PC. I'm running Quick. Have you heard of Quick? It looks better than your rubbish console. Yeah. And so the PC wars began. <laughs> Damn right. This is he not was there. war. He was there, Bilbo. This is not war. This is pest or control. <laughs> How many more crates are there? Uh, one, two, three, four, okay, five, Okay, stop, just stop, six. just stop. One was okay. When you carried on talking, it was that was bad. Okay. <laughs> Might have to start stacking these a lot higher then. Are there any more crate, uh, demarked crate areas? So we can stack them quite high. Rather than that. I'll tell you what, you, I think you all saw that video about Tezza doing that jump. If I get linked that one more fucking yep. time, e like every hour it gets posted in one of the Tezza groups. Wait, you want me to link it to and you? it's like, do you think also, yeah. no one else just saw one more it? time. But it's the same thing, they're going, oh, I haven't seen it before. I'm like, that just shows that you don't p read the group, you just put shit in it. Oh, if you don't like it, don't read it. I'm like, I don't, I am not reading it, but I am being... You know, the post comes up, and, you know, I have to read what you say before I decide that I'm what you say. paying attention, yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't know what world... It. Well, I don't know what world you can be in where you can have a post turn up and decide not to read it before you've read it. It's like, if you don't like it, don't read it. I'm like, well, how about you don't post it without thinking whether or not maybe you shouldn't have... The Tesla jump. Um, uh, two people or some people hired a Tesla plaid off of Turo. Now, Turo is not a commercial rental place. You're hiring it from other people. So they hired a car from a person, did a jump, and trashed it. Proper, proper trashed it. Um, now, I assume Turo will insure them and will cover them. Because I looked at Turo, and then I'm like, there's no way I'm laying anyone in my impressor. Like, fuck that. Maybe for a thousand pounds a day. Point. I have a uh, a car meet on Friday. It's a, a it's an artistic. He doesn't like large groups of people, so he won't come to the car meet. So we're all driving past his house, separated out, to uh, rev engines and wish him happy birthday. Aww. That's, uh, I hope uh, the video of it gets get put on uh, humans being uh, bros. <laughs> uh, well, I've got my dash cam, which should record everything. Yeah, I forget that. I mean, I've had my Impreza for so long, I forget to a great degree what ultra, ultra rare beast it is. Because, you know, mostly just. It's what I use when I need to go to the tip, and it won't fit in the smart car until we take the Tesla. It's like, you know, it's not quite, but it's, it's like when you see someone like a, like a high-end rare Ferrari and they've just popped to the shops a bit or something. It's because it just happens to be the one they're driving rather than 
any sort of statement about how look how good my car is. So uh, should be uh, should be fun. But that means I've got to drive a got to drive stick, Ugh. and b I have to uh, put up with no torque if I'm not up about five thousand RPM. Need a new clutch? No, it's just it, it's when when I see you, Max, I will take you out of the Tesla and you. Moment of no talk. But no, no, no. You won't. You'll understand the opposite. You'll understand the. Oh, I didn't realise cars could could go like that. That that's where yeah. the Tesla's performance is. It's absolutely up in. That's that's unnatural. Oh, there is no sort of magic. There is no complaint to petrol engines where you have to get to the sort of the best. Yeah. The, the, you know the best bit of the torque curve, whatever it is. But, in, where, the, the best bit of the Scooby's torque curve is still less than half the Tesla's worst bit. It, it's, wow. it's it's just, it, it's genuinely get to the point, and you know I, I drove that ridiculous motorbike where I, I am safe and experienced in saying no one needs that much power. This is, you know, I have ridden and driven fast vehicles my whole life. I am comfortable with that. But if you aren't, this thing can run away with you so, so quickly. And the weird thing is, like the next generation of people that's what that's going to be like when i was a child i might have aspired to a ferrari testarossa or a lamborghini contact like they weren't fast like your your fucking uh what do you have from work it looks amazing not a nero what, what do you borrow from work mocha yeah nero nero yeah, yeah. that probably yeah. has the same 0 to 60 as a lamborghini contact that doesn't look as good but technology has moved on even if styling hasn't but the Tesla is faster than like any production car made anything made before about 2000. Like there was nothing, no, no hypercar, no Jaguar, no McLaren, no Ferrari to touch that. Um, it, it's just a different level of go. And, but that's going to be what the next generation of kids will expect from their vehicles. Like even, even the crappiest electric cars pretty good. It's not like, you know, the Mini Metro I learned to drive in, which was... You know, <laughs> I learned to drive in. You had to keep changing down gears to the point where you're going up a hill. You know, you're just about hoping you don't have to put it into first gear going up a hill. Uh, I've just uh, dug a little bit of Sarlacc out because uh. there's some blood and things hiding behind it. Oh, perfect. Gibbs. I now give me a box, bitch. Put the Gibbs in. A lot of barrels. I know. The, these we're having some physics issues, by the way. These crates aren't staying still. Like they're just jiggling away around. I'm I'm not even gonna look at them because they'll just explode harder. That's not how it works. I'm just gonna I have got the physics physics quality highest yet. Yes, it's just, it is definitely a, a serve authoritative game. You can do what you like. It doesn't matter. I haven't taken them, pick them up. Sorry. I threw a crate on Max, I feel bad. Worse than that, you threw a crate on the Masala, which I'm trying to dig up to clean. More crates. Oh. No, he's joking. Four and three more crates. There's three little ones. Yeah, my, my, the favorite thing to do in the Tesla is wait till someone's halfway through a sentence and then just boot it and see if they go into silence, shout, or just j just gibber. Just like, blah, 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 blah. Usually they just go quiet and just start to swear quietly. Do you do any Dukes of Hazard stuff with your Tesla? Just red light launches. Which haven't got old yet. Well, that's something at least. Oh, good. <laughs> I doubt it would. Well, I mean, I've heard say that EVs have got one trick up their sleeve. It's fantastic acceleration, but it gets old. I'm like, really? Are you sure? Are you sure it wasn't you that got old, not 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 the uh, the trick? <gasps> Calling it how it is. <gasps> oh, I said my zero has has. 
absolutely scatter torque. 80 foot pounds of torque in my Zero in a lightweight bike. Um, and that's definitely not got old. Although it does feel an awful lot less brutal than it did, but I think I accidentally said turn it down in the app. But to say the Tesla has just redefined what quick means, it really genuinely has. So, yes. Yeah, it's, it's dodge Hellcat levels of, of, of acceleration. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about sensible vehicles. It looks like a Ford Mondeo, but it's really not. Should I start looking for gore then? Uh, yeah. That's what we've been doing. That's why we had to dig up the Sarlax a little. <laughs> um, there is some muck around here somewhere because I keep dumping yellow footprints, and I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure where the yellow spill is. Um, yeah, let around it somewhere. I mean, bear in mind, uh, Mike, I test drove an awful lot of EVs before I sat on the Tesla. I wasn't just, right, cool, Tesla done, I drove a lot. So, they all have instant torque, but they don't all have a lot of torque. Whereas the Tesla has, well, it's 700 foot-pounds of torque or something? You know, evil amounts of torque. And you don't have to thrash the nuts off it to get it, you just put your foot down. Oh, there's some bullet holes here, Tad. Is it this Get your gun, Tad. Nani? Me? Nani? Bunny way! Alright, I think I left it down at the cave. The cave of wonder. <laughs> what blood here, apparently? Where is blood? Walk one. It might be ash from some unfortunate things that might have or might not have happened down here. I can't see anything. Use the torch, one of the lights. No, no, up I mean, your head, up your head. No, no I mean, wall. I can't see any blood, not I can't see anything. Still? Oh, sure it enough. Right I swear I did these last time. Oh, well, maybe that frit fritzed out. Flares have got blood on it. I've seen their flares and not sex toys. I mean, why not both, Shrug? <laughs> H no. Well, I'm gonna burn all the flares. Oh, <gasps> don't call hippies. Okay, just to be. Wow, two bits of gore came out that time. Three. Yep. So just to be clear, until you're all aware of what's going on, I'm going to put a number of flares, both working and not working, into this bin, and then I'm putting the bin in the furnace. So don't don't be nearby, just in case. Any Wait, you don't want to see a second sun? <laughs> That'd be great. Watch this one. This one won't have a half life for five billion years. Milliseconds, maybe. I would suggest. Oh, I'm a big bloody mess. The bullet holes. I would um, right. I'm just, between. I'm between you and the furnace. Just in case this does go off, I'm legging it. I'm dropping it and I'm legging it. I see the capture cars playing silly fuckers again. Um, if they get a big enough impact, like they go, they they catch. So it's possible if I sprint, which I'm not, they could catch fire. Coming through, hazardous load. Watch out. <laughs> load. Uh, uh, unit. Going in the fire. Shut the fire door, back off, mm. lots of smoke, oh that's a lot of steam. 
Ooh. Right, I've got a disgusting box of dibs. Um, oh, that's, that's a good way to use through. the lighting engine. Oh, he's oh. got a bloody box. I threw some blood on the wall. How did you splash the wall? A piece of Gibbs came out. And Not even it. I'm impressed. The box is covered in blood because there's an arm half in, half out through the side of it and it just refuses to click properly. Ah, oh, don't kick the Gibbs on the stairs. Well, Problems with an there. unreal game? Blasphemy. Is this a real game? Unreal game. This this is an unreal game. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I must just like called the real engine. There's juicy bits everywhere. Yeah. Oh no! I've been killed. And I was carrying something. <laughs> oh no! We didn't explode this time, hey? No, I just got. At least I don't have to deal with my own corpse. It's a bit of a shame. <laughs> well, I'm trying to deal with it, and it's not g getting picked up. Uh, Sir, you're dead. Please uh, allow uh, me to throw you in the fire. No, no, when I respawn, my corpse disappears. It's just that you're, you're having your usual... Oh. ...benanigans. Uh, one of the things I want to do... One of the things I'll have to do in my space game, by the way, is I have to ensure that I am eligible for video game tax relief. And one of the things I can do is make sure the game is quote unquote quintessentially British. So one of the things I will be enforcing is that everyone will drive on the left. You bastard! Put your flag on the spaceship. Everything, just every flag. Oh, British number plate! Oh, I like that idea. Oh, I can't. I need to make a note on Trello. I'm totally doing that. Don't make us drive on the left. Yeah, damn right, blood on the left, filthy green, you know, driving on the right, look. You mean li almost literally the rest of the planet? <laughs> That's surprisingly not true. Would you like to have a guess what the uh, what the ratio is of left-hand drive to right-hand drive vehicles? I'm not talking about vehicles, I'm talking about the driving on the roads. <laughs> well, it's the same, you muppet. Is that the correlation? Because only England and Japan have the, uh, uh, the uh, steering wheel on the uh, wrong side of the and, car. And, and? The American Post Office? Right, yeah. Do they? Yes. Well, I've learned something today. Nifty. And a lot of South Africa. India. Forget about India. Oh, India doesn't, India doesn't count. It's when driving's... India's over there. India has right-hand drive cars. Let's leave it at that. Yes. Um, I need a spade. I've got a spade. You broke one. You're back. No. I've got There's one in the brush. cave. Hit the uh, four number. Not necessarily Mike, number four because brush. America and Australia have very, very high miles driven because of how big the that big it all is. Oh, yes. Oh bugger! I was on the wrong mode. I'm such an idiot. Anyway. Anyway, 165 countries use right-hand drive, and 175 use left-hand drive. So it's about a third of the world actually uses this. Uh, huh. I know. I was surprised too because I looked this up because I was um, curious how much effort it was. I find it we need to dig up the soil like a little bit. Yes. I'll go to the Gibbs uh, pot. By the water dispenser. This one here. Oh, my frame rate, what are you doing? Digging up the soil back. Sight needs a bath. How do I duck without jumping in? Look like you're handling it just fine. About as much as we can expose without risking ourselves. Uh, 
Oh yeah, that's cool. Where? And I can hear it going beep, beep, beep. I think spent flares, by the way, do have to go in there. I'm sorry about the capture card. Um, it's something to do with games not quite locking on to the right refresh rate. Well done. Okay. What's the word? Yeah. Uh, I've smacked. I have smacked that thing with the mop as much as I can. Actually going up? Am I going crazy? Oh. There you go. So same thing on the uh, the one in here, I'm afraid. Where are you? But yeah, I was under the impression mostly that it was Australia, which is quite small, and England, which is quite small. But India really tips the balance. Yeah, it'll do that. <laughs> I just feel like a fucking space dentist. Thought that was the whole point. All good? I can't tell, you're being too noisy. Um, I can't tell, you're being too noisy. something up above us. It's not high pitch beeping. It's not clear either. Put it, I'm gonna get the machine we all lift you up again. This is a very interesting mechanic for the game. Big, oh yeah, there's a big load of muck on the wall there, look. Good job. It's low pitch now. We're good. Alright. Well, it's worth checking up there. Now there's something... It is, there's something around here somewhere. Do you jump on? Um... Come on. Doesn't work with one there. <laughs> Let there be light! I'd say the light was good, but the light's quite frankly atrocious. Oh, there yeah, we go, there we go, right, first. there you go. There's, yeah. there's some... I'm trying to... Okay. Yep, got it. Oh, that cleaned that right up. Nice. Yeah, all low pitch. Let me check down here. Yeah, I already cleaned back there. There was a spot behind the monument. Oh, going up in pitch. Got Silly oh, yeah. alien monuments. Can't handle having blood on them. Good. Yeah. We have a job to do, Tad. You will clean. Oh, hold on, something here. Big something here.
There were footsteps over here. Yeah, that fixed it. <laughs> yeah, that was a big spot. <laughs> Something. Uh. I can see it. Yeah, UV lights would have been a would have been a huge. I I would have loved that. I even know how it implemented. That's the annoying thing. Evenly. Let's shut. Let's shut down here first. Oh, beep, beep, beep. oh is it the bucket of blood? Bucket. Uh, very high pitched here. Ah, this is one single. Three footsteps. Four footsteps. That light's actually surprisingly useful. <laughs> Uh. My mop's getting dirty. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, well, I threw away the bucket we had out, so I don't know what to tell you about the bucket. That's okay, that's not a problem, it just, but it's a bit. It, you can't. Um, Getting all clear when there's a nearby bucket of gore. Hey, mop. Take the sand out of the ground and put it somewhere else. Nah. And there's something over here still. Which I can put. I can move sand. Yeah, but it doesn't have to go. I, I think that's just the soil out there. Can you um, give me some light over here? There's something. Um, yep, right here. Got a tad bullet holes. How the hell did I miss that? Oh, I'm trying to light away again. Look. Wow, that, I can, I can barely see it out of the light. That's interesting. Yeah. Bullet holes to your right, Tad. To your right. I already fixed these. They right. came back. What right. is this? Behind you. On the, on the wall to your right now. Oh, 90 degrees right. Yeah, it's not. It's not there as well, on the sort of bulkhead there. Now the bit I'm looking forward to in my spaceship game is implementing very, very, very heavy spaceships that accelerate and decelerate very slowly. So there's no slamming on the brakes at the last minute. It's starting to break 30 seconds before. Oh, like a long way. Ahead. There are little ships if you want that ship. I don't know. Let me grab the light for you. That was one of the biggest bummer space engineer changes when they changed the deceleration because it was overpowered and it was just I've, like, I've, made, I've made the deceleration twice as much as the acceleration which is incorrect but much more fun 
That's just regular dirt, we don't care it about just, that. It feels more satisfying too. Yeah. Be at the larger spaceships, you'll probably take a minute or so to get up to full speed and you'll coast and then break 30 seconds at the end. Yep, sounds good to me. Alright, Max, do you want to check back down the where the first Sarlacc like, is first? She's gone up here. From the low here, and then ah, oh, some blood up here. Got it. Still a slight, slight elevation. Ah, I see it. Oh yeah. Elevation again. Oh, there's a footprint there on the bottom of the uh, column there. Yellow. Better. Kind of use flare and go deal with that. Oh, that fixed it. The Sarlacc's coming up with some, some filth on it somewhere. And a horrible thing we're going to need to do that one. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where, but as you approach it, it goes up. Oh, right there, footstep, yeah. Still elevated. Blue blood inside there. Oh, yeah. Well done. And Very on. hard to spot it. And here. Oh, yeah. Well done, Dad. How's that beeping? Oh, that's better. Who's that's slow, better. Yeah, Max? That's better. It's your awesome cigar. It's slowing you down. My awesome cigar? You've got dreads and a hat and a cigar. Yeah, you're, you've got oh. dreadlocks. Yeah, I wish you could see yourself. You look majestic. Let me have a quick look. Adam Strain. <laughs> well. I have to give that a like. <laughs> Don't forget to like uh, okay. and subscribe. Actually, liking the stream is probably a good idea. That does actually help. Again, 10 likes is enough to get you... You don't need a lot for YouTube to put you over out the realms of completely obscure trash. I mean, it's possible, Mike, they, they have patched it, but it's it was just uh, it was, oh, I know, a year ago or something. I was like, oh, I really like Plants vs. Zombies. Don't think there's anything in here. Does that not need to be an air box? There's a zombie yeah, pop it. on your lawn. I've got the pet in uh, Warcraft that just sometimes goes do 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 do. I think it goes. It whistles. We're all clear in here. Yep, it's very funny. The first time I heard it, I was like, no way. Oh, slight elevation. Good on PopCap Games for letting them do that. 
can we I'm sure they got paid hella Hi. bucks. Nah, it's one of those, hello, we're Blizzard, and we'd like to put your thing in Warcraft. Yes. <laughs> yeah, hopefully that's it. That thing, do we get points for destroying that? That big blast of No, blast you get points way. for bringing it back with us. Ah, oh, right, okay, let's do that. I'm not sure how it's gonna fit, but we're gonna try. Anything that's basically above it counts. Um, shall we uh, save here and see what our score is? See whether we've got the enchantment yeah. achievement. Yeah, go for it. Because our only goal is to hit big the... Big boom uh, box sitting on the box. <laughs> it's got a big boom box inside it. That's the bigger boom box, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I'm assuming that means we did it. Oh, I'm afraid the game crashed. Yeah, I'm looking through my avatar and I hear beep, beep, beep still. I can see the cigar. Oh dear. <laughs> my game didn't like that either. I've got stuff on the side of my screen. What has happened? <laughs> well, thanks, Blake. I'm trying to render your character, but through your viewpoint, it's you inside looking inside your character. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Progress. Well, we can safely say that we did manage to take it through the portal. <laughs> the game did not like that. So you saved it. The save went. I yeah. saved it. I saved it. Good. Should we just rejoin and see what happens? I will reload, rejoin, requit. Yeah. Start assignment. Post. Save file. Average length two hours thirty. We took three hours and seven minutes. Two hours thirty. I mean, it's somewhere between three and five people. Oh, yeah. uh, okay, Mike. Thank you for dropping in. Okay, you want to go and join again? I'll put the big banger. Oh, it's the big, big banger we need, isn't it? Do yeah. big, big super banger. We need to take that back and then make it. Yeah, shark that's or... the one I did. Back in. Unearthly excavation. Oh. In. And. Yep, where we are, we have uh, arrived. Wait, where's. Oh, there it is! Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's inside the crate. But yeah, we'll see what our score is. We'll see if we get the achievement. What do we care about? Achievos. Yeah, get them sweet cheese. Almost like we're hunting them. Okay. Loading the office. The office. Oh, that worked! So oh, God. Promoted. promoted. And our wow. Oh. That does not mean employee of the month. 98, yeah. that's fine. 98 is good. Most recent, sandblasted. This boombox is freaking enormous. Oh, yep. yeah, yeah, take things, yeah, take things out so we don't end up. I also put a bob note in there if you can get those out too. What are the bolts? Oh, lightsabers, aren't they? Lightsabers. Yeah. Where does the bob note go? Just anywhere? Uh, not where it is, I think. On the table. Alright, it's just gonna go there. Alright. Too far away. You know, I think they can very approach this. I want the lightsabers not in the box. Okay, there we go. Sorted. Pick up the box and shake it out. I did. It just, it just literally did that. Ah. Yeah. The snark. They give you notes when you finish a level, and it's just like, What began as an innocent attempt to locate ketchup for his Quasar Empire burger, Mr. P. House instead of instead found a patch of blood he believed to be ketchup. <laughs> Upon a consumption, he quickly discovered it was in fact blood. 
But instead of being disgusted, Mr. House obtained an unnatural taste for it and has since started seeking it wherever and whenever he can. The administration is taking steps to punish those who left the blood within reach and thus brought about the official probe into the company's ongoing suspicious activities. Like, bro. <laughs> yeah, the, the, word, bro. The, the word world building in this game is, is thoroughly excellent. It really is. Pass too far to the left and then it kicks me the hard. So, let me see. The title for the stream tripped me up, though. I was like, Latex and Blood? What is he playing? Uh, then I realized, oh, he's playing Viscera, but he probably should have put that in the title. <laughs> A little weird. Someone just messaged me on Steam and their nickname is Hillary Obama Clinton. Oh. I'm stuck at the different levels. Oh, I was like, that one looks good. We've done that one. Yeah, it's not very obvious either. It's little blue lines at the bottom. Like, bro, <laughs> you could have made that a little more obvious if I've done this one before. There we go. Evil science. Ooh, this one's fun. Wait, science. No, evil science. God, there's blood everywhere. Right. Point pieces. Having a man's crotch. Mm. You found the box um, delivery system. Um, first of all, all of the first is I just just fine with the furnaces and just start to hoof all of the body bits at the same end of the level as the furnace. You passed it. Oh, this is the one with the elevator? It, it does, but the it's over here. You go back one room. Oh, I was hoping it's at the elevator we could fill it for, uh... Thank God it's not. Imagine, plenty of bullet holes to fix here. Imagine how brilliant it would be. And this is one you do not throw away the caution wet floor sign. It's here. Okay, cool. Alright. Got to get the body parts then. Can we go for the nicking the memory sticks this time? Or is that a bad thing? Uh, again, all, it, 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 if you find a memory stick, you grab yeah, it and help. you stick it on the, uh, swipe it on the exit machine. Yeah, but if you steal them, you get um, an achieve, different achievement. Um, yes, but you can't get, they, they count towards our completion, so you have to redo the level to get that achievement. Yes. I just swipe them for the time being. Okay. Um... This game is definitely playing silly fuckers with a capture card. 
Like it's, it's just losing sync about once every yeah, the way it three or four minutes. Focuses. Yeah, but, oh, no. So the capture card locks onto my HDMI app. If I'm seeing a picture, it should be seeing a picture. This is an expensive capture card as well. If it loses sync, it should resync in one frame, not five or six seconds. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Are you sure we burn those? They don't go in, um, they, no, they go in, uh, biohazard waste, yeah, don't they? Yeah, they're fine, it's fine. Are you sure? On this map. Are you, yeah, no. no. But are you, you burn sure? Them. Are you sure they don't go in toxic waste? A bio, a, a biohazard waste. I got like 120% on this one, it's fine. Oh, did we burn the alien as well? Body bags? Yes. Body bags, yeah. Okay. Um... Like you want to burn the body bag? You're sure? You're a hundred percent sure? Because I referred to the first one who played it, and you said burn everything, and that was wrong. It wasn't wrong. It, it just was wasn't the best option. It was definitely wrong. In the same way, like making Pac-Man make friends with a ghost is not the best option. smashing the hell out of a machine watch it just produce more and more bins for me. Like, I don't care how much gibbs you produce because guess what, we haven't started yet. Things break sometimes. And your bins out for the way, boys. Uh, we need buckets more than bins. We need to. We need uh, to. We want to stay off the net actors this year if we can possibly avoid it. Yes. So like net actors. Again? So like net actors. No, we haven't had an issue. I haven't got the error method so far. I have. It came. It came and went. Just on the cusp. It's fine. So we caught it just in time. Yeah. We still have to keep on top of it now, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm surprised if it hits the net at the minute, what it does does, it doesn't just start to clean up footsteps. Don't just go, oh, there's an area, you should fix it. Just clean up the footstep furthest away from me or something. Until we have the room for one more footstep to be produced. The reason I ask about the um, bo uh, oh, that's crates. Oh no, I've had an explosion of physics. No. Body bags are actually one of my, my most fun things to burn because they're extremely challenging to get in there. Yes. And it's quite impressive. It's nicely rendered as well. The floppiness of it? Yes.
Yes, I don't know how Max on this level we we do need to put the wet floor signs in a specific location. Yes, Ted, yeah, yeah. I, I grabbed that. It's upstairs. And you can also improve your score by summoning more, getting as many as you can in that location apparently. There's a limit, I think it's I think it's at sixty. Uh, it doesn't stop. Thirty four. Thirty four. <laughs> At least according to the Wikipedia. I don't know what to say to you. Sometimes people mess. Dawn of War mod uh, remake in a web browser, will it be a problem because there's so many bullets in the game? I'm like, I'm going to begin with this. So I was saying, do I need to be able to spell to write a book? Well, yeah. Ah, uh, well, um, mm. Can you come? He said. Ah. Where is the ladder? There it is. I, can. I am. I don't know if your capture card will throw a wobble about well, it. Well, no, because I'm, then I'm just capturing my desktop rather than capturing the uh, full screen image. Okay, I'm now running in a window, so you've got the border, but hopefully that means it should be reliable. My favorite one was that robotics level where we just chucked all the corpses down the stairs to the point where there was a big pile of corpses I had to clamber over to get anywhere. Yeah, that I was for the lols. I don't know why that tickles me, and I'm glad that there's no one psychoanalyzing me. If it was real, I would feel differently about it. Hopefully. It's hopefully. I, I have not been in that situation, so... Uh... I accidentally tab across to the um, uh, gore scanner. It's like, beep, 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 beep. Yeah, I know, I know. We found the uh, computer, yeah. Put the memory sticks. Um, I do not know where it is. Okay, I'm putting them in a, in a sort of. Yeah. It's usually near the furnace, though, but not, not always. Oh, maybe it's upstairs. Oh. There's an elevator. I don't think so it is. If you go upstairs, you're gonna load all that stuff, and we will be over our limit. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot of crap up I'm there. I'm pretty sure it's already. I doubt it's segmented by Viz. bloody footprints from the alien as well. Like alien footprints. Hmm. 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, yes, One room down, many to go. This is the crate area. Yes. Just medical crates, the ones with yep. the green crosses on them. Okay, the body bags, straight Burn. in the furnace. Right on, outside side. Yep. They, are, they are one of the more challenging things to get in the furnace. Oh. That's all. <laughs> Hope for the best. <laughs> Oh, oh, it pushed it out the other it side. You oh, really no, no, can no, only put no. one in at a time. Uh, you can put two one, in. Yeah. You can put two in. I have footage to prove it. Lay one flat, then put the other one on top of it. 100% confirmed. And then I put a third one in. The, and the, then horror, I... the physics horror that's happening in there. Oh, God. It's... Two, oh. Two's are easy. Three is... Uh... You have, to, you have to jam it through. That's fine. Just, just don't be near here, uh, uh, Tad, it'll be fine. I escaped the horrors. Yeah. Probably best to escape the horrors. It's the horror of the horror. I mean, technically, this furnace should suck the entire room up at high speed, but apparently it doesn't. So. Ah! That's a nice surprise. Body bag. Body. Oh, no. Um, you won't stand up straight. <laughs> yeah, good luck with all that. <laughs> His arm keeps hanging out. I'm just going to shut the door on him. Oh yeah, if you shut the door on something, then it's usually fine. Yeah. I'm going to through the door. <laughs> oh, I won't spin it around. I'll spin it around. There we go. There we are. Oh, wow. Is it really you guys? Funny if it was like, catch fire and then. Mm. Oh. oh. Oh, okay. Something's happening here, lag wise. What are you doing? You tabbed out? No. Nope. No. What? Not yet, no, 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 no. If I tab out, it, your physics will go horrible. But I'm, I'm now, full, I'm running in a window now. Yeah. Please, mate. Okay. Balancing the gore. Anything like riders in the storm? I know this. Ah, interesting. So the decal system this can actually attach to an object. So that decal is on the door, not in space. Oh, can I make that distinction? Yep. And I'm just starting at the end and bringing stuff down from the end. Oh, I found the machine, by the way. It's right at the very, very beginning. Okay. I like this. There's zero justification for us getting here. It's just we start at one end of a dead end. There's no, like, airlock or lift or teleporter or anything. There is a lift. This level. Yeah, there's a big door. 
Which we're not allowed to use and it's locked. Well... Yeah, it's a one-way door. Some people are just not allowed. How come there's a bucket, like a bucket with wheels on? Oh yeah, to squeeze your plastic cool. What most characters have, yeah. Yeah, I, I honestly think that having upgrades in this game would have elevated it from awesome to just sheer sublimeness. But that's, that's my biggest complaint. Although I enjoy it, I feel the game's systems should progress from, you know, you can clean up 23 um, bloodstains for the mock at the beginning of the game until you can clean up 23 at the end. Maybe the new one will have that. Oh, maybe. I'm gonna hold my breath. Was gonna be, if I was uh, if I realised that I was going to be as, doing as much Unity world building today as I did, I would have streamed it. But I thought I was doing a lot more coding. But I, in the end, I got Malcolm to play the game briefly yesterday, and I've been addressing the issues that he found in his little uh, jaunt. Mostly sense of scale. It's very hard to judge scale in space. So you end up going, oh, oh, and then you either end up slamming into something you thought it was much smaller than it was, or stopping miles from something because it's much bigger than it was. So I put together a small, high detail area of the map. Uh, get the feel, and I, I want to get people to dock a few times into it and say, oh, that's cool, or it's too difficult, or whatever. Use that as the template for future docks. Ooh. Also, because the game is pr pretty much done now, barring the leveling, it's just because it's just hit a trigger box, move from A to B, you get a reward, done. Um, I have lots of scope for uh, um, interesting and creative ideas, so like the level. Ah, you know. That's what we need. Let's, let's, have a crack at, let's have a crack at making some maps. Yeah, I think this is the weird thing. They're not really maps because they're big and open. I mean, they're more like systems, you know. But they're only going to be quite small. They're going to be about 24 kilometers square. Maybe a little bit more because of physics reasons. Yeah, I'm, I'll probably try. I need to start streaming more often. Um, it just I like, didn't get that many people because I'm not learning Fortress Craft. But I think this is quite interesting if people agree hopefully they do also because it's not a first person game I won't immediately get asked is this the new fortress craft but like yes the new fortress craft takes place in spaceships I've always loved watching your dev streams yeah I mean it's, it's just because I've never it's not something you see anybody stream well I mean Barely anybody watched the last bunch, so I'm like, yeah. you know, it's it's a lot more effort and more draining for me to do streams than just to work. So I, you know, there needs to be a uh, a point to doing it rather than just for the lols. Ah. Been quite quiet. But you're recording it for posterity. Yes, and I'm sure when I'm 90, I'm going to watch back that dead stream I did where I had to solve that bug with the race condition in the network. Oh no, you're never going to watch it again. It'll be cringe for you. Ah, for future historians. Or people trying to learn Unity, going, what is this weirdo blathering on about? <laughs> That's not how you do any of that anymore. I, I've had all sorts of comments on my on my stream. People going, hey, I'm trying to do this in Unity, and... Yeah, this has been, you know, you, you did this and it helped me. So I have had a few of those, but, uh, yeah, see, if, if my day looks like tomorrow, it's going to be another day of scene building. I will, uh, stream that. I may 
else to implement the ATC player as well because I've already got it, but just by misusing the, U the Unity debug view. But it's so cool watching everyone fly around in tiny little spaceships doing their thing. And same way, it's super cool in, in uh, Carrier Command, which wasn't which just wasn't bad. I was a bit disappointed how sick I felt at the end of it, and mostly just due to the, the rolling waves. But um, I do enjoy Carrier Command. And I, I do want to look at the new fleet stuff. So there are multiple ships, and you can get multiple ships with different behaviours. But I don't know if you get to go in the ships, or whether or not they are uh, purely tanks. You know, they're, they're just seals that can just come off into the sea with you. I've no idea, but I look forward to finding out. Hopefully, they are drivable. Mm -hmm. Um, though apparently it's not very well balanced and you should only ever bother with the sea whiz boat and then just basically use the sea whiz boat up close to give massive elapsed protection to uh, uh, your vehicles. I do try and be polite when I have uh, fans messing me, even they mess with me in the middle of a game, in the middle of a stream, with questions about how I did the water. Thing. I'm not like Bill Cosby, who apparently was an awful, awful celebrity, and you get really, really uh, grumpy with people in the afternoon for autographs. Um, Dad, are you doing memory sticks, any chance? I, I have been. No. Okay, I have a, I have a stick. I need some. I've been lasering. Thank you. so clean until I look down the side corridors. Yeah, don't do that. big fan of this game's uh, ooh, let's see how you did approach I much prefer Power Wash Simulator where you get that wonderful bar in the corner just showing you that you're slowly, slowly, slowly progressing towards uh, completion so it also means you can judge, uh, like I'm going to get bad I'm tired, oh no no no, we'll carry up we're nearly there I also think it's <laughs> important for games. So yeah, uh, speaking of which, I'd say Rift Breaker does have some amazing game modes where you can just say, run it for three hours. So we could actually set ourselves a single three-hour game for a stream. But they reckon they're going to be adding multiplayer by the end of 2022. I Okay. So that'll be off Game Pass by then. Oof. But it, it was a really good game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Absolutely excellent. Every bit as good as their previous game. Um, and it's kind of a twin stick shooter crossed with Factorio, so thoroughly enjoyed it. So we'll we'll, uh, we'll investigate that at the end of this year. A yeah, year to add network. Something to look forward to. Oh yeah, more of that in the world at this point. Okay, well, the only thing I have to look forward to at this second in time is showing my car to an autistic boy. A weird phrase, I know. But, uh, it is true. That's pretty nice. Oh. Yeah. Pretty dope.
I mean, to be fair, if anyone said, can I come and look at your car? But the like, filthy yeah. footprints all over the clean yeah. floor. Eh, yeah, get over it. No. I think I should call my third Fortress Craft game Fortress Craft Infinite. And then Fortress Craft, whoops, I didn't think this through. I shouldn't have called the last one Infinite. <laughs> Like Dungeon Defender's naming convention where it went Epic Legendary. Oh, what was the next one? Artifact, Artifact Plus, Artifact Plus, Plus, Plus. It's like, ah, uh, you, uh, you named yourself into a corner with Ultimate, didn't you? Yeah, oh dear. <laughs> Physics horror that just went out that door. Me. I'm surprised you don't throw bullying ca casings in there too. In where? In the uh, bins of body parts when you roll out with them. Um. Do you sometimes. I'm, I'm, the thing okay. is, if I were to do all the bullet casings and all the gore, that would take me, let's say, one hour. If I just do the gore, it would take me half an hour. And bullet casings don't make extra gore on the level, which is my concern. So I always focus just on gore, just to reduce the amount we can accidentally create into the level. I can't grab this bit. Game, please. But the other thing I've been thinking this about your, your internet's had is that almost everything in uh, Sneaky Spaceships, I mean, I is it server slides. If you drive into a trigger box, you only have to send one byte to the server for it to start. So um, you're not saying, hey, server, I'm in this area. It's check. It's doing all the checking for you to uh, try and keep the network load minimal. Mostly because if I write it with the absolute minimum amount of network load I can, this means I can get more players in the game. Have, 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 have ourselves a nice hundred player server. Uh, sorry. Storage for nitrogen here. Okay. Oh, liquid nitrogen, I assume, not just nitrogen. Uh, just says nitrogen on the box. Yes, yeah, that'd, that'd be the blue boxes with what the nitrogen written on them. Yeah. Okay, then, this bin is full. Sorry, second the chat's playing silly buggers. Okay. That chat. Oh man. That was not, I don't know why. Throwing the fucking blood. Mm, sanitary. Fire oh, makes it all clean. Okay. 
Oh god, I've just been upstairs. Yeah, it's horrible up there. Alright, filling the lift full of body parts. Oh, don't, oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna call it the Body Part Express. Do too. Well, it'll definitely be doing that. Oh no. It'll be fine. Sound like it me. It will be fine. Everything will be fine. Unless you're in the lift with it, in which case it will be disgusting. <laughs> it'll be absolutely horrible. <laughs> I've got to give them quite uh, quite a lot of props for the variety. The level design and variety is good. They do obviously lots to draw on. Uh, stuff like the Sarlacc and uh, the uh, reloading the sentry guns are all excellent. I mean, they've done a, a good good job of adding a lot of variety. Good 10 out of 10 there. So up here is a yellow thing for probably signs, yeah. Signs, yeah. I thought you said science. I'm... That doesn't make any sense. Science. I said science, not seance. <laughs> Um, probably, what? by the way, it will be burning at the rest of these body parts and probably bad for me. I have not been sleeping very well and I'm tired. <clears throat> there was tight what? I, I'm tired, bunny. I have oh. uh, lots, of, lots of work to be doing. Um, I'm hoping today to get a actual play test, a sneak, well, a tech test of sneaky spaceships in. And just a kind of a, a feedback from me from what it's like in 2D, what they think of it in VR. But not as a, is this a game? But as in, yeah, what's the flight experience like? Is this a usable game? Could, it, it, be, could it become a game? Yes. Well, I mean, it kind of already is a game. It's just a game without any uh, rewards or anything like that. Like, you would just play it and go... Woof. Yeah, but I mean, uh, the, the, the Live for Speed RPG was interesting because I didn't mind sitting there for three hours driving my... Where's the lift gone? Elsa, so we can empty it. Right, it's not full yet. But, anyway. Um, uh. I was quite happy just to drive back and forth between two destinations for three hours in order to get a slightly better car, which would earn me a very slight amount more money per hour. Because the actual driving part was quite... That's how it's um, supposed to work. Fun. Quite enjoyable. Quite relaxing. Uh. Hmm. The body part here, I'm struggling to get it out. A, a taxi. Say again? I can do with a taxi hint here, Dad. I I would like to put more, more body parts in. Yeah, I'm slumped in it, it's alright. Yeah, we're all the fun up there. Oh, there's an oh. alien butt. Oh, there's a door code here. Yeah. Ugh. Don't know how to do these. There's a piece of paper on the level, probably tells you what the door code is. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> it's telling me I've got to walk in it. I can actually hear you from the downstairs. entire code with one number yeah. and every time it lights up green that's where the number goes so you hit one 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 and if any of them turn green that's where the one is 
I might not be the best person to be doing this. Oh, you're good. Pretty sure I lost someone's head. Oh my god, the flash green's a bit subtle, isn't it? Yeah, it's very quick. Wow. Right, so I think it's 2 1. 7 or 8. I said there's usually a piece of paper. Well, I think there's been. No, no, you the hack process. these, the short ones you hack. Oh, okay. Well, I hacked it. Bloody. So I suspect if I wasn't running at such a high frame rate, it would last for a longer period of time. I think it might flash green for one frame. So you're running at 30, it's easy. You're running at 200, a little bit trickier. Yeah, that sounds like it's not ideal. I'm a oh, sad we don't you're have in that now. dark room, right? Yeah. Look up. Ah, uh, hexagons. No, the bit. There's a something coming out of one of the air vents. Oh, cause cool, a face hugger. Yep, that was really cool. The physics of the face hugger are things so well. It's bad. No, not with this game. All right, that's all yours. Uh, Setting it back up. How do I get the? F oh, well, maybe I should open the lift rather the. Uh... Oh, I've got some rubbish. You to probably should have thrown some buckets in there. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. He's cleaning up bits, isn't he? Uh, no, I mean, I'm just getting corpses out. Now, that would have scared the ever living shit at me if I was a more jumpy person. The vent that the hugger was in just exploded off at me. Yep. Thankfully, I made a stir of stuff. Uh -huh. Also, I'm not concentrating very hard Although, I, I think that's honest, because I've never heard you actually, like, freak out about something before. Um, well, I mean, in this game, I'm not very involved. I mean, I'm, I'm playing it, I'm enjoying it, but I'm mostly just sort of passively shoving stuff around. And I have no fear of my life. There's no yeah. start points. You know, the worst that could possibly happen is it crashes. And I have to go back to the last one, I say. Do you do horror, horror games at all? Uh, wow, that's a really nicely done face hugger. Max, can you come back to the um, the lift? One moment. The, the uh, bucket machine must give me shit rather than buckets. Yes. Okay. 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 Oh shit. Right. Where is it getting these mangled body parts from to jump, dump everywhere anyway? Right, okay. I'm, uh, I'm That is the mystery. Oh. Sorry, I'm just call it. Okay. Oh, I'm disappointed I can't shove it onto Max's face. Oh, Aww, that is unfortunate. So, do we burn it? Oh, yeah. You're making mess. Make it clean. <laughs> We're not here to worry about their alien horrors, we're just here to clean up the mess. We're not here for a good time, we're here for a clean time. That should be the name of the next stream, someone remind me. There you go. 
Where are you going with that? Yeah, tomorrow we'll, we'll mess around some more on Core Keeper. And Wednesday will be Snow yeah, sorry, like I want to do like a 12 hour stream so on. I said I want to I want to do snow runner right but I want to do snow runner with my AC on maximum strapped into my chair so I can't move Maybe with, with a gloves really on. thick coat on for yeah. 12 hours yes yeah, just like reality battle bottle <laughs> Yeah, I did say I was going to go to the next area, the one after Michigan. I complete that one or work towards completing it. I don't know what it is now? Alaska, maybe? Yes, it's Alaska. Oh God, the physics! I'm leaving. Who are you? It certainly isn't. I left. <laughs> wow, the shadow on that lift is amazingly broken. Yes, yeah, so I think we're using the same mechanism as the lifty thing. The old portable litter thing. It's probably the only one they could get work get to work on the network. <laughs> yeah, it's because of the way the, the lighting works. Ooh. Anyway, um, I am going to head to bed. Or in that case, doesn't work. I'm going to head to bed about now. I am okay. absolutely shattered. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys all tomorrow for... All right. I'd say the end of Core Keeper, but after you guys left, we killed the boss straight away. No problems. Piece of cake. Just straight through. Easy peasy. Less um, people in the game. Less people in the game, yes. The last boss isn't so much. Uh, the fire one's not so fun. We'll see. And we may also just have to join a new world and just blitz it, like stand eight abreast and just make a super wide corridor in order to find mushrooms. And oh, that would be sick. Something like that. But yeah, I will, I will save it here. And, uh... uh hold our breaths for the next power wash simulator patch as well. Cool. Oh, well, nice night stream.